It was a peaceful spring morning. The sky was clear, and the birds were singing cheerfully in harmony. The gentle breeze that moved through the trees in the backyard garden reached the window of a girl's room, who was deeply asleep. However, upon feeling this refreshing spring sensation falling onto her face, she began to wake up slowly. But as she did, she felt something strange. Her eyes were covered with bandages, preventing her from seeing. Nonetheless, she could feel that it wasn't just her eyes. A significant part of her body was wrapped in bandages. Her arms, legs. Unable to comprehend her situation, the girl embraced herself as desperation welled up within her. An impeding headache attacked her as she tried to recall past events. The pain was so intense that she couldn't help but grasp her head with both hands. After a moment, the pain slowly began to recede, but the girl's expression remained far from well. Due to the events that had transpired, the girl hadn't been able to notice that someone had approached her. Despite not being able to see, the girl directed her gaze towards the mysterious voice, which belonged to a man wearing a medical apron. Upon hearing that question, the doctor couldn't help but be surprised. He quickly narrowed his eyes and scratched his chin, as if pondering something in his mind. The doctor whispered those words with uncertainty, then turned his gaze back towards the girl, who didn't understand what he was referring to. Haniel was unable to process what Israfel had said, causing the doctor to remain silent for several minutes, allowing her some time to gather her thoughts. Israfel smiled sincerely at Haniel's response, giving her a gentle pat on the head to reassure her. After these warm words, the doctor began a routine checkup on Haniel. Most of these checks were both physical and neurological, assessing her motor and sensory abilities. As for the internal tests of her body, those were conducted while she remained unconscious. Pausing briefly between his words, the doctor scratched his chin. Haniel nodded without much hesitation. After all, she didn't have many options given her condition. On the other hand, the doctor seemed pleased with her response.
The doctor was about to continue his talk, but he suddenly stopped when he noticed that Haniel seemed to want to ask something about it. The doctor's expression slightly hardened. Considering his words carefully, he took a slight breath before responding. Haniel, who kept her gaze directed at the doctor's face, lowered her head slightly, reflecting a mild sense of depression in her expression. As a doctor, it wasn't a pleasant scene for Israfel to witness, so he tried to console the young girl once again with some positive words. Israfel patted her head gently once more. Then he walked over to the room's door, opened it wide, and called out to someone who was waiting outside. A young nurse entered the room and introduced herself while giving a slight nod. After acknowledging Aniel's warm introduction, Israfel approached her, gave her a gentle pat on the shoulder, and then left the room. Aniel nodded, and with that, the doctor bid his patient farewell and left. Once they were alone in the room, she walked slowly towards Aniel letting out a gentle, sincere smile before speaking her words. Comfort of the wheelchair was certainly tempting, but Haniel had a desire to stretch her legs a bit. After spending so much time asleep, her body felt slightly heavy. Having said that, the nurse took care of the preparations, and then carefully they both began their small journey through the hospital. Given Haniel's condition, the nurse tried to stay close and provide a certain level of autonomy. At the same time, she walked as slowly as possible, allowing the girl to remember each of the hallways they had covered. However, the second floor wasn't their destination. They headed for the elevator. Everything seemed to be proceeding smoothly until they reached the first floor. The nurse's smile was honest, and though Haniel couldn't see her expression, she felt warmth in her words. Having been mostly fed through an IV for so long, Haniel felt weak, so hearing that brought a certain excitement. At first glance, the cafeteria scene was pleasant, with some cheerful voices audible. However, as Haniel passed in front of the cafeteria's door, something strange happened.
Peniel couldn't help but come to a sudden stop, turning her gaze towards the cafeteria. Her sense of smell had heightened since the accident, allowing her to detect that unpleasant odor emanating from there. It was strange. The scent was so strong that she could have sensed it from much earlier, but she had only noticed it upon being right in front of the entrance, as if the place had suddenly changed. She couldn't arrive at a reasonable explanation. Despite her lack of sight, she felt danger crawling up her spine, as if the space before her was drenched in blood. Seeing the girl seemingly taken aback, Aniel quickly approached to make sure nothing was wrong. Meanwhile, Aniel observed her with confusion for a moment. Seeing the nurse hadn't mentioned anything, Haniel thought it was all in her imagination. The strange odor had vanished in the blink of an eye. After observing Haniel for a moment, the nurse decided to continue the tour. Although, at certain intervals, she would sneak glances at Haniel to ensure she wasn't getting fatigued. Minutes passed, tranquilly, leading Haniel to believe what she had felt was the product of her imagination. Probably due to having slept for such a long time and her mind still processing being awake. But before she could be sure of that, a familiar feeling enveloped her once again as she passed by the game room. The same sensation and aroma had returned, but this time the smell of blood was much more intense, causing Haniel to feel nauseated. Upon hearing Haniel's coughing, the nurse quickly rushed to her side to check her condition. The girl seemed on the verge of vomiting, prompting Haniel to act swiftly. At a glance, Aniel could diagnose that the girl was suffering from nausea, her balance wavering. Priority was to get her some fresh air, as it was possible that something within the facility had triggered this. Looking around, the nurse spotted an exit leading to the backyard. She gently took the girl in her arms and led her outside to rest on a bench. The nurse quickly re-entered the hospital while Haniel took a deep breath, gradually calming down. The fresh air from the backyard was truly soothing, especially given the flower garden. Relying on her heightened sense of smell, she could pinpoint their exact location. She even detected a forest several meters away. In this peaceful setting, the chirping of birds and rustling of leaves were distinctly audible, it was calming, and Haniel lost track of time. After calmly sipping the glass of water, 
The nurse once again inspected Haniel. It seemed the girl had returned to normal, but Haniel couldn't let her guard down easily when it came to her health. After all, Haniel had awakened after having been in a coma for a couple of weeks. Haniel tilted her head slightly in confusion. She didn't see a reason for that, since she felt stable, but if the nurse felt it was necessary, she wouldn't refuse. So, she nodded slightly, and Aniel departed. Alone again, Aniel relaxed her body and let out a soft sigh. As before, she lost track of time. However, she eventually realized that several minutes had passed since the nurse had left. It seemed strange that she hadn't returned yet. After these words, Haniel stood up and paced back and forth without straying far from the bench. Minutes ticked by, but the nurse didn't return, and this absence began to make her feel a bit anxious. Haniel suddenly stopped and directed her gaze towards the hospital. She certainly didn't want to return there alone— so she tried to be a bit more patient. To make her waiting less stressful, she increased the distance she walked from the bench by a couple of meters and started walking more slowly. Unfortunately, her patience wasn't rewarded. After several minutes, which had practically turned into an hour, Haniel began to feel somewhat down. Despite this, Haniel had no choice but to wait. She decided to return to the bench and take a short nap. She was currently about 15 meters away. So taking a slight breath, she began walking slowly. However, once Haniel closed the distance to just a couple of meters from the bench, she came to a sudden halt. She hadn't realized it, but someone had taken a seat there and was waiting for her. With a brief pause, this mysterious person smiled gently and sincerely, offering a warm feeling with his words. It was the voice of an adult man, around the same age as Israfel, or perhaps slightly older. Despite these few words spoken, Haniel felt she could trust the person before her. The man's aura seemed as pure as spring water. Or at least... That's what she had thought.